vacating this court's previous order in its entirety, including the obligation to file and serve a response to the petition. So in other words, you don't have to respond to this. It's now gone. Just before the sign up deadline, uh oh, 90,000 forms were submitted by third party groups on the last day of voter registration, far more than they expected. Kenner up said the recorder's office has done all it can to deal with the unprecedented numbers, but there still could be 40,000 voters whose forms were damaged in Lynn Victory in Arizona moments before the election is upon us. America First Legal reporting that Adrian Fontes, our Secretary of State, who apparently has a list of 218,000 people who may or may not be citizens who are registered to vote, he did not want us to see who was on that list. He submitted an appeal after a lower court ordered him to disclose it, and that appeal has been rejected. And so America First Legal scores a victory here. They said he must produce the list today, and that is like today fresh out of the oven. We don't know if this has been produced yet or if it has been analyzed yet. We'll be waiting for an update from America First Legal on it, but they did give us this appeal victory. And you can see that here is what the Court of Appeals said. The case, of course, is against Adrian Vontes. He is the petitioner. He's appealing this because he lost. We read through the decision yesterday from Scott Blaney, which is a good decision, saying you got to give him the records. It's a records request problem. And so he said, stop this, please don't make me disclose the list. Now, the Court of appeals saying we are accepting jurisdiction of this emergency petition and we're denying relief for Adrian Fontes because they've not established that the superior court, the lower level court from Blaney, that they have committed any legal or factual errors. And so it's ordered vacating this court's previous order in its entirety, including the obligation to file and serve a response to the petition. So in other words, you don't have to respond to this. It's now gone. It's further ordered denying the petitioner's emergency motion for a stay. That's it. So it's time for you to disclose those records and we'll see what is inside of those. So meanwhile, elsewhere in Arizona, interesting report that apparently there were 40,000 damaged registration forms that came in at the last minute. Arizona Republic's reporting on this, telling us tens of thousands of paper voter registration forms were dropped off damaged or incomplete at the Maricopa County Recorder's office just before the sign up deadline. Uh oh, 90,000 forms were submitted by third party groups on the last day of voter registration, far more than they expected. Now, since then, 50,000 forms have been processed, although some were incomplete and require voters to provide additional info. But the remainder, which is an estimated 30 to 40,000 forms, were entirely unusable because they were torn, wet, or otherwise damaged. You mean that is 30 to 40,000 forms were unusable? Just think about like 30 to 40,000 pieces of paper. Do you know what a ream of paper is? It's like 500 pieces of paper in a ream. 500. Now multiply that by a lot. 40,000 forms? What is forms those are? That could lead to some voter confusion at the polls. Voters who didn't completely fill out their registration form or who filled out a form that ended up damaged may have to cast a provisional ballot. If a voter with an incomplete form provides the missing info before the polls close and the election officials determine that they were eligible to cast a ballot, then their vote will count. But if their form was damaged and unable to be processed, their ballot won't be tallied unless they were previously registered to vote. Could also slow voter check-ins contribute to long lines. Experts say this could lead to backups. And so my friends, make sure you have a plan if you're in Arizona. I have been texting my Arizona bros out there and telling, hey man, ballot in, ballot in, ballot in, ballot in, ballot in. And when they say, yes, it is, I say, what was the line like? Two days ago, it was 15 minutes in some places, 30, 45 minutes in others. So tomorrow could be madness. So be prepared if you're in Arizona. Provisional ballots may also frustrate and anger voters. And third party groups are often paid by the form. For years, officials around the state have said that they often receive forms with inaccuracies. Some are clearly fraudulent because they get paid by the form. Some people have Donald Duck on there, Mickey Mouse, Jerry Seinfeld. They receive deadlines. Here, they said the recorder's office received forms on the voter registration deadline that were dated weeks before. State law mandates that third-party groups submit registration forms within five days of collecting them. So those are invalid, right? They sign it, submit it. You can't bank and hang on to the ballots or to the forms. Said some of them don't do a good job. Now, earlier this year, the recorder's office lobbied several proposals to address the problem. How many voters could be impacted? We don't know. Kinner upset.
said the recorder's office has done all it can to deal with the unprecedented numbers, but there still could be 40,000 voters whose forms were damaged in limbo. Yeah, couldn't provide an estimate on how those forms will be fixed, but it's a mess. So that's Arizona for you. Now, the Supreme Court is bracing for impact, says that they're girding for a rush of election related litigation. This was just updated a few days ago, and this has been the most litigious election of our lifetime. Almost 200 election cases filed in courts this year. It hasn't even happened yet. The election is not over. Following 2020, there were a lot of appeals for this year, a lot more coming. The Supreme Court, six to three conservative majority, 60 lawsuits in 2020 that didn't go anywhere. RNC has launched a bunch of these things and things are going to be lit. So we're going to be here, my friends. We're going to be covering all of this. You know what's happening out there. Lawsuits galore. We'll be covering it. Thanks for joining us as we do. Thanks for subscribing. And hopefully we don't need to cover many lawsuits. Hopefully there is a resounding victory tomorrow for President Trump and the MAGA movement. And there don't need to be any lawsuits at all because it's settled clear as day.